Dr. Paul here. We've got a little four month old here who's got a nice little thing here for you to take a look at. This is a bright reddish raised lesion about an inch, a little over an inch long, over half an inch wide. It's sort of squishy, blanches slightly. The other raised area around it is just slightly purplish maybe. What this is is an overgrowth of blood vessels. It's called a hemangioma. And was this pregnant at birth? Yes. Was it much this smaller? Big? Much smaller. Yeah. So that's exactly what happens. They can be present at birth or even develop after birth. And they tend to grow for the first mm -hmm. year, maybe occasionally up to two years, and then they shrink away. Usually by school age, they're shrunk to gone or almost gone. So it's generally thought that unless a hemangioma is impinging on a vital function. Let's say it was in your eye and it was a, a blocking vision, then you would want to go have laser done so it's not affecting vision. Or if it's affecting your airway, you would have treatment. But if it's in a place where it's not affecting any vital functions, you just leave it alone. And it will continue to grow and then it'll start to fade and the pink, the bright pink will go to purplish, bluish, and then it all shrinks away. So. I mean, I suppose theoretically there's a slight increased bleeding risk sometimes for these. So if you got hit hard with a sharpish object, it would be more likely to bleed than being hit anywhere else. The other thing we noticed today when you first got here was a little bit of sort of redness, dry skin that's mostly on the trunk. So it's on the back, on the front as well. And you can see these sort of dry red patches that are all over a little bit on the legs a little more on the trunk and this little one has not had any vaccines we tend to see more eczema dry skin conditions with those who are vaccinated according to the CDC schedule or actually vaccinated at all when compared to non-vaccinated kids however we do see eczema and dry skin in unvaccinated kids so why what causes this it tends to be a reaction to food and the number one and two causes are gluten and dairy. So you're breastfeeding, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. So you're eating gluten and dairy, I'm guessing. Yeah. <laughs> it's the worst news ever for a breastfeeding mom. It's like, no, don't take away my bread and my pasta and my crackers. And, and then maybe do an experiment of going gluten and dairy free for at least a month. So folks, as you know, I don't diagnose, I don't treat, I don't have a license anymore. I am just a guy who shares information. Obviously, former pediatrician, still a pediatrician, I just don't have a license anymore. What I wanted to let you know though is, you know, this is a young baby, four months old, who's been diagnosed with eczema and has a hemangioma that's been diagnosed and I just thought it'd be a great opportunity to share what it looks like, some of the things that can cause it. I didn't quite finish. We had a sibling starting to get a little upset, so we stepped out. Uh, clothing, soaps on clothing, irritable things that irritate the skin can also cause eczema. So it could be a contact thing. It can be an internal thing, which is usually a food, as we mentioned, gluten, dairy. The third most common would probably be eggs. There's a long list. A baby four months old, there's really no way to test. So you just have to do trial and error. Eliminate the foods that are most likely the culprits and see if it helps. And then you want to moisturize and you know avoid anything that's going to irritate the skin. I hope you enjoy this video.